you remember the Hades nachos of the past? Well, this is something new. We've got the new version of the Hades nachos here from Pecos Bills. In the past, it was just the nachos on a plate for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party or the Halloween season. Now, we've got some very special cheese, we've got sour cream, we've got salsa, and we've also got lettuce and tomato with these Hades nachos, so these are definitely new. All those things sound good, so I am definitely gonna add all of those things to the Hades nachos. It's a much larger meal when you have all of those pieces to the Hades nachos. Let's try it together. I've tried a bunch of it at this point, and it's okay, it is not my favorite, and I actually prefer the other style of Hades nachos. Somehow, the flavor of the, the Hades cheese or Hades chicken, it was even better with the old style of Hades nachos. It's just it's just a little bit different, not my all-time favorite. That was only okay, but I know a Halloween dessert that's even better. Let's go find it. Remember that Sanderson sister mug that we got that was like the last one here at Magic Kingdom? There, there's plenty of them now. The Minnie Mouse main attraction series is extremely popular here at Disney. They've got a couple extra Magic Bands for, I think, the castle and for the teacup set. They've also got the plush right there for uh, Big Thunder. Very, very cool, featuring Minnie Mouse. You know, in recent days, I've been thinking quite a bit about the Walt Disney World steam train, and it has added so, so much to the Walt Disney World experience. And the reason I know that is because it's been closed for a couple of years. It's gonna remain closed until 2021, but I, I think about how it totally changes the experience for us. We just hop on board, Fantasyland Station as an example, head on over to Main Street USA, you know, and maybe end our day right here, and then it can just take us immediately there. I am so, so looking forward to it opening again. It's, it was one of those things here at Magic that just, I don't know, made it even more magical. It was such a big piece of it. I looked into it and this is indeed the longest closure of the Walt Disney World Railroad that we have ever experienced before, since 2018. Yeah, it's, it's been a little while, it definitely has. And I'm wondering when it opens up again in the future, 2021, probably next year, you say to yourself, is it going to make the experience feel totally different or feel like the, you know, we used to know it this way and we're back to it. For me, I'm actually thinking to myself, it's gonna feel like new again, like something totally different. Like, oh, this is a new way to experience Magic Kingdom because it's been that long. You know, the water area here at the circus makes me think about Moana. Cause you know, Disney was all, you know, getting ready for Moana. We still might see it, we'll see. But I think about those water, the water things that we could do, things with water. Preferably where you don't get totally drenched, but a little sprinkle here or there never hurts. When they're turned back on again, these are super, super popular, especially on hot days for kids. And you know, maybe they'll bring more water effects all over Walt Disney World. Remember we used to have those misters all over, you could stand under the misters. I don't know, I'm thinking like a, a large pathway just of misters or just of some other way to keep you cool. I'm just getting all these, I don't know, these Imagineer thoughts today. They, they have even better ideas, no doubt about it. But the idea for some other way to keep you extra cool. I want to reiterate, Imagineering has some incredible ideas. I'm just kind of, you know, kind of going over a few thoughts that I had. I'm trying to decide which of the Big Feet merchandise, I'm pretty sure that's what they call them, is my favorite. I really like Sully over there, but look at Groot. Look at Baby Groot right there. You've got a uh, Dumbo up above. Just so many cute ones here. There's the big feet version. Some cast member, I think, said that to me. That's what they're called, but there's just so many of them. I have just met you, and I love you, Doug. Love that. Look at that classic Walt Disney Studios hat. It kind of has that faded look to it already. See how the Mickey's kind of faded just a little bit? I like that. I'm a big fan of that pumpkin spice milkshake here from Auntie Gravities, and I think I'm gonna save up. I think I'm waiting for the poor unfortunate souls. It's, it's been too long, it really has. It's so funny what keeps happening. I just keep walking around, just trying to make sure that I've like, you know, walked my steps for this uh, poor unfortunate soul. Very special whip. Dole whip. I'm not gonna call it a dole whip, it's a, it's a ice cream treat. Now, as far as I remember, the poor unfortunate soul was only available at first during Villains After Hours. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Can't remember 100%, but I'm pretty sure that's, that was the case. And it goes to show that something that is so popular like that just, you know, when Disney sees it, sure enough, it makes its way over to regular hours or even just, you know, Halloween party hours, whatever it is. So Disney, again, as I mentioned in other videos, takes that feedback and says, okay, this is popular. Let's bring it to other times here at Walt Disney World. Just, just as an example. So Poor Unfortunate Souls during standard hours, Magic Kingdom. Okay, I'm gonna go on record and say the clouds are coming in. I feel a breeze and I'm not leaving. But usually that's your 30 minute warning or 20 minute warning or 10 minute warning that uh, rain's about to start. Poor unfortunate soul, one of my favorite Halloween drinks here at Walt Disney World. Let's see if it's as good as I remember. You poor unfortunate soul. Oh my gosh, yes, yes, so much yes. That blueberry and the 
the Coke and the raspberry in there, it tastes amazing. I highly, highly recommend this amazing sweet treat for Halloween at Walt Disney World. Yum. I have to admit, somehow it tastes even better to me. I, I don't know, maybe it's just I'm not remembering it the right way, but the, it's like a stronger blueberry taste in there and a stronger um, raspberry with that Coke. It's, it is truly one of the very best. Please, try this one. Now, last time we had the Poor Unfortunate Souls, the crown was like su super hard to bite through. I'm gonna try it again. Definitely better this time, no doubt. The crown's my least favorite part, but the Poor Unfortunate Souls is truly phenomenal. Highly recommend it, onward. Now the big question, do I risk staying in the park longer with ominous clouds in the sky? I think I do. You know, one of these days, I'm gonna try and like find the zone where the music changes. Cause you can, you can clearly hear the Mad Tea Party soundtrack. But if I walk and maybe, what? 50 feet in that direction? Maybe more like 80 feet, but listen, Tomorrowland soundtrack. It's just, it's incredible what Disney does with audio. Now this is super, super interesting to me. Around Disney, it's getting more crowded. No doubt about it, longer lines everywhere, yep. Tomorrowland Speedway stays around five minutes and it looks like it's five minute wait from here. So I'm wondering why that is. Maybe it's because it's about to rain, but it has been kind of a lower wait for most of the day. You know I love these, what are we gonna call these, teal rocks here? Love the teal rocks. I've always wondered what this is. It's, it's like a spaceship and a light at the same time here by the Tomorrowland Terrace. See it? I don't know what it is. I like it. Part of the Magic Kingdom, part of the magic. But what, what is it? Almost looks like a rocket ship. It's kind of got like that booster underneath kind of look, like it's about to launch off. Just part of the theming, I guess. I, I guess it's rocket. I, okay, I'm gonna say it's rocket. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. Rocket. I felt the drop of rain on the back of my head, so I have my umbrella, so, you know, the assumption is, oh, you have your umbrella, it won't rain, right? No, 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 no. Not, not always the case, so we're going to continue making our way towards the exit. I missed the changeover, but the scaffolding here at City Hall is all gone. Take a look, just the other day, it was all scaffolding, and they've redone it, or changed it, or updated it in some way. I don't, I don't necessarily see it. I guess I wasn't paying enough attention last time, but they've updated it. You know, something that's changed for me quite a bit since living here is the anticipation for something. The walkway to the Grand is something we've been anticipating for a long, long time and it just feels like it's around the corner every day. Just as we're pulling in, you can see the raindrops on the window there. Perfect. Oh, I would love to sit up front again. We can't, we can't, but, but I would love that. Oh my gosh. Ever since that uh, delicious find at the Grand Floridian Gasparilla Island Grill, I've been always looking for those special Halloween treats or drinks at the resorts. Contemporary doesn't have anything at Contempo Cafe right now. Well, maybe in the future, don't know. But uh, it has me thinking about it. Captain Cook's no special Halloween items there right now. From what I can tell, the only special Halloween treat that I can find at any of the monorail resorts is actually only at Gasparilla Island Grill and it's only those drinks so far, but I'm, I'm on the hunt for more. Thanks so much for being a part of the magic with me today. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time, have a magical day.